Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. All right, I forgot about that. It's probably better to upload this version anyways and we get rid of the technical difficulties in the beginning. Am I clear? Am I clear? Am I clear? Because you're quite muffled. Is it? Is it my broadband or is it yours? I don't know. I can hear you okay. I can hear you okay. It's just your picture's going a bit fuzzy. But it might be my broadband. My picture? Yeah. Oh. Let's see. There's one way to t find out. Am I clear? If I'm clear, uh, that's, that's, all, that's all that matters. Yeah, you're clear. Okay. Uh, I said, as we suggested, are we going to clear? Are we going to clear, do a clearing on the animals and Valerie's cat, so we can clear everyone first? Or are we doing that at the end? I, I think we could do it as a warm up, to be honest. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking how can I do it. Um... If anyone's watching this and got any pets, you'll feel energy, healing energy. Should we do that now or not? Your choice. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm just like focusing on like, um, obviously cat, like we want to go gerbils, like e every type of animal, like yeah. on the planet, mm -hmm. every animal. All right, then I think we should connect in with Gaia. Okay. Because she she knows everything that's living on the earth. Um, um, for everyone who's watching, don't email, don't message us your pets, please. This is a one-off. All right. So just connecting now. I'm doing tree tree awareness because the trees have this awareness. So I'm going to tree source awareness because the trees have this awareness of all of every animal and they're every, everywhere. And then obviously in all the remote areas that they've taken the trees out, we'll just have to trust that the trees know enough and Gaia knows enough to clear all these animals. So, I'll I'll do a pitch. I'll I'll share a screen of the cat in a minute. But let's let's just connect. All right. So, to my mother saying also to connect to animal consciousness, the vibrations of animal consciousness, be there. Release them. Infinity in all timelines, dimensions, and realities. Clear. On, on all the angels to assist. I'm also bringing people in. People watching, and they're like, they're very forget about the animals. I need to get cleared. I can sense there's people. <laughs> what? What? I don't care about these animals. I'm having problems. Clear me. D D Dave, right. Dave, they'll probably be saying, I identify <laughs> as a cat. <laughs> yeah. I'm bringing oh, in. Go uh, ahead and look. We'll yeah, I'm bringing in energies from the Ealing Sea in the in the underworld, the goddess of the Ealing Sea. So it's, it is a bit connected to Gaia. Shall I share a screen? Sure. Right, hey Valerie. Yeah, your cat. So we, we're getting rid of all the dense energies around. Any pets that's watching, any implants, any uh, spiritual parasites, any attacks, sending in love, love energies. 
Oh, I might as well use my uh, emerald down as well. So I'm being told to connect to the diamond grid to help this uh, vibration go through the planet. Also, so divinity to assist with this divine mission. And also, any pets that have died recently to remove any traumas. There's a, a boat ton. I'm I'm in the the, the solar sun right now, um, the central sun, and then with the galactic councils, they're showing all of these fleets that have dropped into orbit right now um, to assist a divine mission that we're going on. There's uh, so many fleets. There's thousands, thousands of ships. Um, so I'm just connecting to the commanders, the commanders of these ships right now. And I'm going to find out what they're tuning into because clearly they're monitoring stuff. Lady and fleet commander. Uh... disruptor energy in the matrix Dark programs. Mm. Okay. Show me. Anyone watching this, you might, I do a bit of breath work if you're joining us on the mission. We're bringing our guides in then, before. Yeah, it looks like to me that there's still a few dark ETs that have technology to create very um, impactful energies and energy programs that are targets. They target specific light workers. Um, they have a knowledge of frequency. And so. Are they the ones on the moon? Are they on the moon? Or are they on in, in Earth? Because I've. I've caught and there's some on the moon and some on the earth. These ones are on earth that I'm seeing. So the fleets, there could be yeah. some on the moon, but the fleets are tuning in to the programs that they've, they, they've unleashed. And so they're trying to isolate them. So these almost like robotic machines or like energetic cannot hit their targets. So they, um, so, tuning in there's many of bases this is a warrior's mission so just go ahead follow the fleets let's go in and take out all the targets of these darker ets that are still 
targeting light workers and let's just go and fly in with the earth alliance and see there's one in antarctica so guarding the wall guarding the wall okay let's take them out I'm just guided to do uh, a bit of separate. Is that okay, Dave? I'm 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 going to take these out yeah, on the moon. Be... I'm going to take them out on the moon. I'm sure it's okay. to do with the uh, prison of Earth. So. I've took a few of the Andromeda fleet. What well, one Andromeda fleet was? I got me emerald dragons come with me. It's amazing. Interesting. Um, scanning database now. I'm on the dark side of the moon. Uh, he's actually shooting like green flame. And I think because it, it's so divine, it, it just disintegrates them because they're so dense. Ah. This isn't the mission we were planning. <laughs> no, no. Um... They they've been sending signal. They've been using the moon and the beings that you're taking as like a. It's like a pyramid energy field, like a, a just, so anyone in that field gets the negative attack. I'm learning their code they're using for this program, so I can turn it against them. They're working in dimensions. They're using they're they're targeting specific codes on light workers to like keep them. They're, they're specifically targeting specific frequencies in dimensions on light workers to keep them down from from act fully coming on power here and so this is like a, a program a dimensional program I'm just learning it right now Sick. Okay, I gotta lock on an entity right now who's just disgustingly um, tuning in, and he's like, it's almost like a game. He's so gross. He's slimy, reptilian like, like slob, and he's just like sucking people's energy somehow it's he's through this dimensional game i'm going to get the earth alliance i'm going to follow his signature and target him specifically and take him out he's got all these computers around him okay hold on we're taking him out following him tracking him take him out take him out take him out take him away his network he's a network facilitator pick him out he's feeding he's feeding all these other reptilians holy shit take him out take out all of them take them all out okay we're taking them all out i'm, I'm actually with loads of general dragons now the ray 
somehow send disintegrates the body and sends it to source. I don't know how that does, but they are divine, aren't they? So it sends a conscious to source. That's what I'm talking about. A massive building on the on the dark side of the moon. All right, I'm gonna give you a hand at the same time. Yeah. I'm being told we can't take the building down there. It might be to do with uh, what's keeping that. If we break, it might disrupt the uh, earth, basically. I just don't know. Hidden base. Uh, yeah, but base. part of it goes up. It's underneath, it's inside it, but it's also, it goes miles. It's like a, it's like pointed to the earth. I don't know what it does. That it could even be the soul trap. I don't know. It's weird. But we're stopping the uh, energy that's affecting affecting us at the moment. Uh, don't actually know. I haven't been given the the information about this. We're going to wipe out the uh, tech that's actually affecting uh, light workers at the moment. Think about it though, they must found know also the, a, 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 ma a major base, man. I found a major base on Earth that they were hiding um, and we're literally going in and taking out all these reptilian ships. It's it's so crazy. We're just, we're taking them all prisoners right now. It's like, it's unbelievable. It's like they've, they're hiding on Earth. Like this, this is like their domain. We're in the reptilian domain right now. It's, it's crazy. Um, you can see this it's very much in in the mountain mountain range area it's but they're invisible they had the whole thing that you couldn't see you would you would just like fly by it or fly you never see it unless you knew they were there <clears throat> they're all connected to this technology too it's a siphoning mechanism stealing energy and targeting codes this is like a whole network attacking light workers that's going been going on here logically they must know all the light workers are on earth to be able to attack them like that they do yeah i wonder, they do. I wonder if light because workers have got a certain they're they're it's a frequency that they're targeting yeah they're targeting specific frequency ranges so anyone who's who's uh lifted their vibration they're targeting that vibration don't they? yeah makes sense that's why we got to destroy this they are losing all their power okay the uh the moon must be out then they must send a signal and the moon must take most of the most of the uh the energy so it's like a, a two-way device we, we've nearly took the, the the stuff on the moon now, the technology. Okay. It's, Let's go ahead like... and recode the reptilians. Let's recode them right now. I'm in their mainframe. Let's recode them into mm -hmm. consciousness, beings. Let's recode their energies so that we activate higher frequencies into them so they stop feeding off of people. This is the problem. They need the fear to survive yeah let's record them all let's record all of these bastards so i'm still i i might as well stay on the moon then try and record yeah 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 i got it 
I'm getting the information to Nick Kashik, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's the Emerald Order that has the information. I should think round the box, shouldn't I? Okay. <laughs> okay. Open, 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 open. Use, uh, I'll have to, I've got my crystal source being here, but use uh, sacred geometrist as like the data, uh, God knows. I had to pull myself out of their computer mainframe. And I'm just sending in the commands, God commands in from outside of it. Yeah, this technology is plasma. Like a plasma, we're sending uh, the the codes for the geo from the yeah emerald oil is sending it. What will this do to them? Well, it's gonna let it's gonna the, it will stop them from needing us to be a, a feeding source. Mm -hmm. It will stop feeding off of humans. This is the problem. They can't ascend they can't just let people grow because they then they don't have a food source this is the whole issue right mm -hmm. so we just changed we just change it we change it so they don't need to eat fear i don't think we could change it to joy and disintegrate wouldn't we? <laughs> well we're just, we're just changing that they can eat physical food they don't need to eat energy they can eat they don't but need it, to eat humans energy the, i think personally i feel like the energy is a bit like a trip for them you get what i mean it's it's like like a drug it, yeah like a drug too it's like a drug as you say they don't they're not really eating the food they're using the energy for something i think it's uh i think they get eye on it basically Yeah, well, and they're all addicted the to it, aren't they? It's it keeps them from ascending. It keeps everybody from ascending too. It's like a it's like an this keeps them to being these gods, basically. Like so, anyways. But they're not. It's just a big illusion. That they're they're literally not progressing as a being. They're not they're not progressing as a soul. They're literally just staying in the bottom level they're like the they're the winners of the lowest kingdom like it's just so mm. stupid that they even want to be like the winners of the lowest i don't even think they've got a soul i think they're just conscious they've got a conscious but so dark and what i'm tell being told every time they take uh the, the fear energy it just makes them more lower you get a buzz on being low weird codes have gone on to the moon one anyway mm -hmm. yeah here as well i'm just talking to an octarian uh fleet commander at the moment and getting this more information um we're all we're going to be receiving DNA upgrades now because it's like a moment uh, of truce in a way. Like it's a moment where we're not going to get targeted, and so in this moment, where everybody's going to be getting upgrades from the um, Octarians as well as the other um, mm -hmm. galactic uh, commanders are going to be taking advantage of this moment. We've stopped. This is a big thing, man. We, we've we've literally stopped an ongoing program that was stopping humanity from ascending. It was like an ongoing dimensional program that they've been running in the moon, Antarctica, and all of these different sub bases, these feeding programs. It was so disgusting. Like it, I, I saw the whole network, man. And, 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 and I started tuning into all these reptilians and they're, they're literally jacked in, man. They're like jacked in the, the machines that that target they use 
they were using um, some kind of like computer system um, to extract energy and target light workers and stuff like that. It was uh, crazy. Hmm. It's like it, a dimensional computer of some kind. Yeah, the, the the thing the galactics can only help if we're if some human is an amb ambassador to the Earth. They can't actually intervene unless an Earth, someone who is Earth, is involved. Just wanted to tell everyone that. So if any, if, if anybody has been getting nightmares lately, this is the reason they've yeah. scaled up their their um, programming and stuff like that. So. Let's see. While we're yeah, in this, uh, while we're in this, this while we're in this building on Earth, we're going to send good frequencies to Earth. <laughs> we're going to do two whammies in one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We might as well use the program to our advantage and send out the positive frequencies through the networks. And intuitively, I'm just going to ask the fleet commanders for anything that was um, taken from these light workers to it reminds me you know when you turn your boiler dead low well i'm now turning it dead eye so it's eye vibration it works yeah low exactly it's, a setting. it's just like a exactly. setting on it yeah As i'm I I'm totally with you on it. I'm, and I'm going yeah. all on their program and just raising the frequency of everything in the program too. It's, not, it's the same thing. This may not be nice, what I'm doing right now. So I'm specifically targeting all the reptilians with high frequency who are involved in this. But they've had their chances. They were warned. They were warned to get off the planet, and they still want to mess around, and they still want to try to play these games. You're breaking universal law, and now you're going to pay the price. That's just the way it is. It was just an energy uh, from the moon. There was just an energy that went over, over through Earth, like a, a wave. You might have felt that wave. Wow. All right, now you did that an Emerald Order wave. Is that what you just did? Yeah, but it, it was it was uh, from the moon. Uh, okay. I can do an emerald order Everything. wave as well. Let's do an emerald yeah, order. Let's really connect to the, the em emerald, emerald crystal and inner earth right now. Let's connect to it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is going to be excellent. Sending this throughout to all the reptilians. Merry Christmas. Enjoy the Emerald Order. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, it, it, have you seen how big this crystal is? It's like glowing, so it is massive. activated. It is activated a bit. Yeah. It activates the, the Earth. power that it has is incredible. It activates when enough humans have eye vibration and the eye vibration, so, or they get an eye. Oh. Connecting it to the pyramid network as well. Might as well do it to the grids as well. Ray lines, everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And also the uh, Lemuria crystals.
<sighs> so much like a light. This is a light show. This is. Well, that's definitely going to create a lot of peace in this planet. Everybody can just grow freely now. So different. You don't realize until something is gone, the difference that it is. Like it's just clearer in the astral realm. It's just clearer. But you didn't, you know, we were so used to being under this influence that we didn't know what it's like to be out of the influence. It's just going to clear everything up now. So good. Ugh, incredible. Now keep in mind, I mean, we're still advancing and, and growing. They can't just, but not having the stupid frequency coming and these attacks and stuff just make it our job so much. Eat. We can actually finally like, just like naturally evolve without people trying to tamper with our ascension. Like it's just like, it's been super annoying that there's always like this force that's trying to prevent ascension from happening but you know obviously they had to come and be desperate and there there's the, the truth of it is there wasn't a, a lot maybe a, a some hundred maybe um a thousand of these final ones that were just holding on you know mm. wasn't a lot i mean but they're just not going away when they're just like so but now we make them go away so that's it the end i do i do know there's another mission in the future and that's to do with inside the moon but uh we're not ready yet yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. to release the earth i think the earth is a prison planet i've always thought that that's why i'm here uh, we got oh, yeah, it is we got to release yeah. it yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that finished? How are you, you doing? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, the wave is unbelievable. Definitely have a lot of a lot of happy um, galactics right now. I'll tell you that. Mm. We had a lot though, man. This was this was without them though, we would have been never been able to do this. We needed thousands of ships to to like to to take on all of this. Like it was just. It was too got, big of a mission. Uh, yeah, I got the nod off the Emerald Order. They're very happy. Really happy. So, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And they're, they're like, they're, they're non physical and they're like different, different. I, I didn't know what they were first. I thought they'd be just green, but they're not. They're different uh, beings that have ascended to the highest and they're, they've grouped together and created the Emerald Order to release, release, uh, release Earth, basically. That's their job. Yeah, and it, this is a long, long time ago when they said they'd do it. And I think they buried that crystal or they portaled, portaled it. I don't know. So I haven't asked them that. Uh -huh. Yeah. But uh, that's amazing. Yeah, pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. I honestly didn't think it was going to be anything like this. We didn't plan it. I mean, for a while there, I th for a while there, I just thought we were healing animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then it turned into this. I was just, just like, what? It's good how they've connected. The, the, it's good how they use the moon, which is what helps the earth, but they use it in a dark way. Good how they've done that because sometimes you cleanse using the moon and it cleanses, so they must be. Able, I think what they do is they send good energy to lift our vibration and they wank it, wind it down, and it the the reaction makes us even lower. If you get what I mean, 
I think they do that. I think, yeah. I think this reptilian stronghold on Earth, apart from uh, Antarctica, like it was in around Sedona in Arizona. I'm not even <laughs> kidding you. Like, because I was seeing like red mountains, everything like uh, all around, and it wasn't Mars, and um, like red rock and everything like that. I think their little secret base was in the mountain and a mountain range in Arizona. And there was literally all of these reptilian ships, hundreds of these reptilian beings just so they, like, stationed there. I, I, I think on a different mission, the mountains can look like a mountain, but you go inside and it's like, it's a building a base. Yeah. So mm. they, they camouflaged it into like a mountain, but inside they can see you, you can't see them. You know, like one of the mirrors in the police station, like one of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <clears throat> well, good, good work again, obviously. Nicely mm. done. Did you see the Emerald Dragons? Yeah, magic. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I, I was watching that green flame. Mm-hmm. Mm. The Emerald Dragons are, they are incredible. You know? They are the, the most beautiful ancient dragons. Mm -hmm. mm. And they haven't really been on Earth for a long, long time. The vibration wasn't high enough. So the yeah, vibration that we're doing now on Earth, we're like a beacon and they're okay with it now. So, so if anyone wants to connect, connect with the Emerald Dragon. And if you're an ancient soul, you might have your own Emerald Dragon. I've got mm -hmm. one now called Aqua. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Is it a water emerald giant? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know? Do you know? And what did I call my company? Emerald. I called my my company's called Emerald. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. Is your company actually called Emerald? Emerald Weld, but it's Emerald. Yeah. So there you go. Oh wow. I, I've had it for thirty four oh. years. Thirty four years, and I called it Emerald. Death. And I've told you I live at Eild Green yeah, on Green Ive Road. Is it all these signs? <laughs> Everything's green. Yeah. So and Raphael's green, uh, right? I suppose. Yeah. And first time I've I used think I'm green gonna emerald. Change my name. I think I'm going to so, change the name to Emerald Unlimited. Just <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man, but now I got to go all emerald now. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, though. Yeah, no, you have a lot of links, and you know, we've definitely done a lot of good, good, good work for this planet. So, the thanks everybody who came to support this mission and who's watching it in live time and the replay. Um, it's so important. We all come together, and and we all have these pieces to complete these missions to the highest level. So, yeah, remember to drink plenty of water. Plenty of blessed water and also ground yourself. And a, a little tip, I've got this tiger. And this is the chakra under your feet. So you can ground yourself with this. It's better than the root chakra. It's actually the chakra under your feet. And this is the crystal that you can use for it. A uh, bit of knowledge there that I never told anyone. So, yeah. so anything cool. else? Are we doing anything else exciting? <laughs> Well, I think that's pretty exciting. Mm. There's going to be a lot of uh, growth now in all the light workers. Um, stop getting what, targeted. What do you think will happen on this April of the 8th? Is this going to be a false flag? Are they going to send us some fake? <laughs> um, I don't think it's a bad thing. Mm. I, think April, I think April 8th is a good day. Yeah. Uh -huh. A lot of people saying like these bad things are going to happen, but it's not what I channel. Mm. They they might do something fake because of the day. You know, they might use the beam, blue beam, or something like that. You never know. They were doing a dark ceremony on the equinox because, um, as with the uh, crystal skull um, on the equinox, and there's a whole bunch of us doing light missions. But then there was the there were some ones out there that were not doing light missions, and so that don't be fooled. There's a reason why we do our missions on the portal days, the equinoxes, the solstice, because so do the bad guys. 
but our our light quotient and our numbers are greater and we nullify out what they're doing now we we overtake everything that they're doing so yeah of course we will come out in numbers we'll come out in numbers everybody's got to come out so what we do yeah. are, are you going to show us your armor <laughs> well now that you ask <laughs> right here is that the real one <laughs> One and only. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty neat, that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I had to get it. It was not cheap, but I had to get it. I just had to have it. <laughs> uh, do you want to sell it? I know a, an emerald crystal in the <laughs> earth. <laughs> that'd be that'd be worth millions. That would be. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and obviously was, the, the dark was, ones will end up using it. I don't think they'd be able to handle that frequency. Mm. It would just melt. Yeah. It's like us. It's like we weren't. We had to work for our frequency, and we had to work up to be able to get the higher frequencies. And even like I was with my friend Clarissa, and um, the rainbow version of Mother Mary comes in, um, and she lifts up the frequency of the room so high that I was like, <gasps> was just like whoa, 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 whoa. And uh, I was just like, I looked at Clarissa. I'm like, do you see that rainbow right beside you? And she goes, she looks over. She goes, oh. And then uh, I'm like, yeah. Mother Mary literally just lifted up the frequency of this room so high. Even I almost couldn't take it. I was just like, oh, <laughs> that was a blast, right? And then, like, so it's like, can you imagine, though, like, before all these missions, like, we wouldn't just be able to pull the Emerald Order energy out of her. Like, it would just be too yeah, high no, for us. No, no, like, at the beginning. No, at the beginning, no. I, yeah. I remember about 15 years ago, we had a transmedian media you know it, it connects to these high vibrational beings and i was healing on the bed after her and i thought i'm going to see what they are so i connected and they're like flying fish beings and i nearly collapsed <laughs> i literally nearly fainted it was just too high <laughs> yeah. yeah so you, you got to work on it don't you end of day oh yeah mm. yeah you build up for it for sure a lot of times now, though, I, I feel a pulse on me third eye. It's amazing when you feel that. It's like it's got, like it's, got its own art. It's like an art yeah. in your third eye. Yeah. yeah. It feels like a flashlight. Mm. Me. It feels like this beam's coming off of it. Mm. I, I, someone at the uh, sound healing, I got a message he wanted to wake, wake his third eye. So I went up, I said, you want your third eye? He said, I was thinking that then. I just put my hand, I opened it straight away. Just opened yeah. He said the following week, he says, whatever you did was amazing. So, yeah, pre pretty good. Yeah. And uh, anyone, everyone looking, don't send us pictures of your animals, please. <laughs> Feeling. We already took care of it. We already sent yeah. energies to them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And if you need healing, I do events with Deb, and you do it your own events. So just go on them, and then do they? Uh -huh. So what are you doing at the moment? Oh. Well, there's like uh, I'm I'm planning this trip to Mount Shasta with this lady named Mary who lives out in Mount Shasta, and that's happening May fifteenth to May eighteenth. Yeah, at least she yeah. cleared the area. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't think. Interestingly enough, the Telos beans helped out in clearing out oh. uh, the Antarctica. Yeah, they were there actually um, helping out as part of the Earth Alliance. So it's like, because mm. um, I know well, what they look like now, right? Like I'm always working with well, what what is strange? They need they need you to tell them what to do because you're from Earth. Yeah, if, no. if we don't tell them what they can't they can't intervene unless we ask them to. It's, yeah, it's just quite. I didn't realize that until recently. Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, but they can say they want to come to a mission, right? Yeah, like those yeah. Like those those Syrians wanted to. They literally flew into my house and they're like, "We we're excited about this mission. We, we want to kind of <laughs> go with it with you guys." I'm like, "Yeah, of course." Mm -hmm. And then I mean, you and did you one. did you say what mission? We haven't planned it yet. <laughs> You've been reading me, mind. Yeah. <laughs> you, you've been timelining us. That's what. But it is. today, today it was just like all of these ships started coming out of like hyperspace, and it was like zoom, 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 all around the earth, thousands of these ships, uh, really cool looking ships too. Like there was some like blue power, like a blue powered ship. It looked like it was like deep huge like, like huge like crystalline blue energy was, was from what emanating from it like it looked like a super power ship i'm not sure what it was but it was definitely like something that could do anything like it was like the god ship or something like that like it was just like the leader of the fleet and like it was just this pinnacle of a ship mm -hmm. i i showed you a video i took a accidentally took a video of a portal big coming portals don't they coming through a portal creating the hole coming through and then shooting off and i had a video and i took a three pictures of that happening so you can actually do it in the 3d version you can actually see it but uh -huh. it's it, it's you're very lucky when you see that yeah so yeah of course mm. I, love it. I love it Honestly, I love working with the Earth Alliance and the crews, like and seeing like Telos showing up on in their ships. Like it's just so damn cool to see all of it. And, like, like, w like this part is the best, and it's like I'm not worried about anything. Even though there's reptilians everywhere, I'm not worried about anything because there's like the Earth Alliance with tw two thousand ships. All of these technologies, they're beaming them on board. They're taking them prisoner. They're taking care of all of the issues. And I'm just like focusing on like the problems of what they're doing to humanity. And then it's like, yeah, okay. Like I'm more, I'm more like the, uh, got to figure out the things so that we can say, okay, help us with this too, or help us with that too. And we're sort of like me and you are kind of like, um, like directors but we get into the mission at the same time you know but like we're like facilitating it in a way the, like... con the conductor of the mission <laughs> yeah <laughs> well yeah. when i had the emerald dragon we was only one and all of a sudden the emerald dragon i looked around and there's thousands of them and i thought he's done it he's he's called them in himself <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's thought i'm too bloody slow i'll, I'll just call them all yeah. in there's thousands yeah. of them thousands of them. yeah so. No, this was actually a, a, a quite a, a large mission. This was not a small yeah. one. This no. was like a like a systematic takeout of the of the remaining dark control, like on Earth and the mm -hmm. Moon and stuff like that. Like this was just like okay, it, the end. That's it. So mm -hmm. it was it was amazing. And next is to release the planet, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Baby Crazy. steps. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> it's like people watching, like, just release the planet now. Let's just release the planet right now. <laughs> people aren't ready, are they? Everyone, a lot more has got to lift their vibration. Yeshua told yeah. me, he's like, he goes, you can't just that. So, April 8th, for example can't be the solar blast on april 8th he says you guys are waiting for the people who have chosen to rebuild new earth still to awaken fully and it come into their light you're waiting for them as much as they're part of the completion of all this right like so it's like mm -hmm. you just gotta wait hold space don't worry it's coming yeah so no, we're not ready yet. And it, I know some people won't believe it. It's a lot of souls trapped on Earth, and that we're here to release it, and then release the vibration, get into the vib, lift the vibration with her. That's all we have to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're yeah. trying so they're trying so hard. Yeah. 
this was Science. a good one this was yeah. a really very interesting mm. but we didn't know i didn't know they were doing this but once you see there's some program that the galactics are isolating these attacks they're isolating these big if you want to call them programmable monsters if you want that are, are really going to like completely create havoc they're isolating them they they are literally programmed to destroy light workers but they've quarantined them in like the program and in their ships and so they're isolating these big ones and i saw this one and it was just ready to like tear through light workers ready to destroy that's seek and destroy is its mission basically right and but they had this 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 really bad one contained um if they didn't it would just it could have killed some of the light workers it was that nasty but the galactics know they know so yeah they're not allowed to like per se like interfere and do this or that but they're also not going to just let the light workers get destroyed you know um but then and then we're talking to them and they're like we got to take out like there this is a threat they didn't say we have to take out but like this is a threat this would be the mission and i'm like yeah giddy up let's go and um away we went and we handled it like champions <laughs> so we when i say we I mean, me and you taking credit, maybe it's just a little too, too much credit we're taking for it. But at the same time, I mean, obviously they did all the the groundwork. And we mm. were remote remoting in and assisting in that way. And that would have took a while longer than what we're on here. Yeah. It would have took yeah. a long time. I don't know how long. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I, I'm sure everyone's going to be dreaming good tonight. Hmm. <laughs> it's early for me, isn't it? 22. It's 20 to 1. Yeah, the other day you sent a message. I was at work. It's 20, 20 past 3 a.m. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. I have about two, three hours sleep a day. I don't know. That's the way. So I must have like three lives. The other life is the astro life. Yeah. I don't know how you do it. I need I need seven hours. Like I just have mm. to have my seven hours. I have to have it every night. Well, when I go to sleep, I do work anyway. Astral work. <laughs> so, yeah. But then again, when you do astral work, it can, you can go out for two weeks, can't you, and come back, and it might be two hours here. And you, you can program your body to refresh itself. But, yeah. yeah. Well, obviously, you've been doing that. Oh, my I, life, I, think. I believe... That you can, because you're living proof of it. <laughs> I just choose to Not enjoy. To. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, I know it's and possible, do... but it's just not in the realm of. Do, do you know the other day Desire. you messaged me at was it half two a.m. and I, I, you I said yeah I'm at work, but then Sophie messaged me back messaged me are you at work? It was twenty past three or something. <laughs> yes, of course I am. <laughs> I was talking to you. Yeah. She knows me. So, do you do you work like on average of like fifteen hours a day? Mm. And like, well, today yeah. I I started a little late today, but I did a healing event this afternoon. So, but I did that at work. I took me computer work, my stuff. Right. Yeah. So, but I'm just busy at the moment. I, I do. I manifested a lot of work, and I got a lot of work. But I also think that. Uh, they're trying to stop me with trying to get 3D stuff to me. That's why you're stopping mm -hmm. someone, isn't it? Overwork someone, they can't do this. But I can do both. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're proving everybody wrong. Can't be stopped. <laughs> Thank you. So what do did you, you have? For... On... Hmm? Do you work on Sundays as well, or what? Uh, I will be, yeah. <laughs> Going for punishment. Wow. I'm a... Yeah. I want to do. I want to do work on the house. I haven't got time. When are you going to take like a vacation or a break or something like that? I want one this year. So there you go. Yeah. Are we going to mm. get together sometime? Maybe like. I know you don't want to go to Glastonbury, but like, what about like uh, Egypt? 
Can you imagine if we went to Egypt? I'm not eating there, though. <laughs> well. Again, I probably would. I, I astro to Egypt, and I was seduced by the uh, god of... Who was the god of seducing? Uh, you know that if we went to Egypt, the Sphinx might actually open? That'd be interesting. I don't mind. The only thing is, if if, if Sophie's watching this, she'll, she'll be messaging me in a bit and say, are we going to Egypt then? I we bought the ticket. Egypt. We should go to Egypt. Can you imagine like... Um... Imagine if we did an event together in Egypt or something. We should. <laughs> yeah. That would be just incredible. Hmm. There's this, yeah. um, I can't remember his name, but there's like this uh, famous guy on Gaia, the app and stuff like that. And he's recently been inside of Egypt and discovered all these new symbols that are like the Egyptian calendar. And there's like 24 signs to it, not 12. It's like the Deccan mm -hmm. calendar or whatever it's called. And he's showing how they have the Garden of Eden and the snake and all these things and written on the uh, right on there and i know exactly what that snake is and what that represents and this is an energy we've been working to clearing off the planet recently and it's fascinating because they're discovering like a whole new um astro astrology and to every sign there's like another sign and so there's so much that we don't even realize about the zodiac and the astrological signs, but I, I was given some info today. That this person I was healing, this female, her past life was on Egypt, and she was in charge of the med beds in Egypt at the pyramids. And they were using the ethanol of the earth into the gold of the top to siphon the energy to heal people's souls. Now I haven't heard that before. <laughs> So, okay, wait. I've, repeat that again. They're using. So what we were doing, they, she was in charge of the med beds in ancient Egypt, and yeah. they were in a part of a pyramid. I don't know which one. And yeah. the energy was going to the top of the pyramid from the ethanol of the earth at the top. You know the the static of the earth mm -hmm. going through there. It was getting siphoned, and it was actually healing uh, the person's cells, each cell in the body. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. know how that works. I've never heard that before. I've never been shown it before, but it was interesting. So, mm -hmm. makes sense a little bit though. But, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I I remember being like, I remember I actually had the memory in because I know I know what I was involved with in in Egypt and like in in the beginning. And I have very clear memories of being in the Sphinx when it was not closed off. Like there was a there was a point of it when it was just a doorway going up, and like you could walk out of it and walk in it, and you can go through the pyramid in your ship, and then basically get out of your ship. There is all these meeting areas where the Galactics would meet underneath the Giza and in the tunnel area of where the Sphinx is and everything, we there's meeting rooms and we'd literally be meeting there. We'd be planning, we would be inscribing. Um, and, um, and I remember it all in this life. So it's like, I know when I go to Egypt, stuff's going to go down and it's going to be just crazy. That much yeah. I know. I, I'm being told that they've got they've got water under the pyramids, aren't they? And there's somehow a, there's a sacred water cleansing under the Sphinx, as part of like in the halls of Amenti, and as a purification. Of so so if, if they if they could send the energy of the earth, the top part through the pyramid through the sinks up to the waters, yeah, that would program the waters. That could do a lot of healing abilities there. Yeah, it probably yeah. is because it's a special water under there. It's very unique. Yeah, um, I bring I bring clients there all the time for cleansing. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So it's a bit like the alien sea in the underworld, isn't it? It'd be very similar to that. It's similar. Yeah. yeah. Hmm, pretty good. Yeah. yeah, it would be amazing if we went to Egypt. <laughs> yep. Well, looks like we're going to manifest it. <laughs> I've manifested the work. I should be able to pay for it. Shouldn't I? Yeah. yeah, let's do it. We'll figure it out. Hmm. Alive in Egypt. Yeah, it's by the way, it's pay per view spiritual dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe like um, we should definitely like bring cameras and film it and create like a, a like a really cool documentation of what happens and stuff. And put it on my Probably. YouTube. Sure. Remember, cool. anyone watching this, sign up to my YouTube and I'll send you special energies of Emerald Ore Energy. <laughs> Does that sell it? <laughs> you know, if they don't sign up to your YouTube after that, then there's just no help in anybody. Mm. Special Emerald Energies for subscribing to YouTube sounds like a pretty good deal to me. I've, I've used that energy a few times and it's been amazing. It's amazing energies. It's so high yeah, vibrational. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And I can I handle it now. I can hold it. Hmm? Yeah. I enjoy it. I really do like the way it feels. Like it's just such it's such a cleansing energy. Uh and high and a high frequency. Like when we are tapping into that, like um the inner earth one and just bring it up. Like it's just like raising the, like it's just ooh, like it was just so amazing in like the purity and the frequency of it i really mm. enjoy it and like so like i like i usually bring down like source energy like in prime and other stuff from above and on the people and cleansing but pulling up this pure frequency of the emerald order energy from inner earth which is like just amazingly cool and and we brought it in <laughs> so funny because right before we did it right um i'm connected to all these reptilians and i'm like i don't care i'm blasting all of you guys for this like i'm blasting you with the highest frequencies i can every single one of you and then as i'm still connected to the wall we go to the emerald energy and i pull it up and because i'm connected to them i just the emerald energy into them as well and just like a double bam <laughs> so funny <laughs> but then we sent it across the planet and stuff too <laughs> it was just like I can only imagine the look on their face on the first one they're like ah, ah, and then all the second one ah. <laughs> so, so they were like they were like right they were, it hit them first they had the full blown blast <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know what though i mean like you guys have been doing all this stuff with your programs and you're attacking us and stuff like that it's we're allowed to do this this is where this is our freedom and you know it's like they ain't coming back they're not going to come back and do this now and that's it so it's like You still there? Hello? Oh, did I freeze? Yeah, I think you froze. It could be I. Sometimes it's my broadband, sometimes it's yours. But I can hear you. You're just frozen. Uh, yeah, just you know frozen. what? I use, my, I use my phone as a camera. Yeah. And it just, it just it ran out of battery. So I'm just, just not going to... So I guess that's the sign of saying our farewells, I guess, right? Yeah. Thank you, David. Thank you, everyone, right. for joining us. Remember to ground yourself and that enjoy was. it and, and watch the replay and join us then. Time is not linear. Yeah, there you go. All right, sweet. All right, see you later, brother. See you then. Thanks. Thank Thanks. you, brother. Bye. Bye.